Welcome to The Circle. Today we will be creating a 30-day test. It won't be simple, but if attempted sincerely, it can significantly improve life. So stay with us. In the 17th century, Sir Isaac Newton, an English mathematician, gave us natural laws of physics applicable to both humans and celestial bodies. One law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. In simple terms, this means achieving anything requires a cost. The outcome of your 30-day experiment depends on the effort invested. To become a doctor, you must endure years of challenging study. Success in sales, where our success aligns with our selling ability, involves convincing others of our ideas, promoting education, advocating for a good and honest life, and excelling as individuals. Success in the sales profession and in selling our way to a good life demands paying the price. So, what is this price? It involves several aspects. Firstly, it's comprehending, both emotionally and intellectually, that our thoughts shape our reality. We need to govern our thoughts to control our lives and acknowledge the principle that what we sow, we reap. Secondly, it requires freeing the mind from limitations, allowing it to reach its divine potential. Recognize that most constraints are self-imposed, and today's opportunities are vast. Rise above narrow-mindedness and prejudices. Thirdly, summon the courage to think positively about your own challenges. Set a clear goal. Let your mind explore it thoroughly. Imagine various solutions. Reject the idea that any circumstance is insurmountable. Act decisively when your path is clear. And always be aware that you are currently in the midst of your own opportunities. As Russell Conwell once emphasized with the concept of an acre of diamonds. Fourth, set aside at least 10% of your earnings. Also, bear in mind that regardless of your current job, it holds significant potential if you're ready to invest in it. Let's summarize the essential aspects of the price each of us must pay for a fulfilling life within reach. It's undeniably worth any effort. One, your thoughts shape your destiny. Two, embrace imagination. Let your mind explore freely. Three, courageously focus on your goal daily. Four, save 10% of your earnings. Five, take action. Ideas only matter when put into practice. Let's outline the 30-day test without personal pronouns, keeping in mind that there's nothing to lose and everything to gain from this endeavor. Two things can be said of everyone. Each person desires something and each person harbors fears. On a card, articulate your utmost desire. Whether it's more income, a doubled income, a specific sum of money, a beautiful home, job success, a particular life position, or a more harmonious family. Clearly define a single goal on the card. You don't have to share it, but keep it with you to review several times daily. Ponder it in a positive, relaxed manner each morning. This way, you'll wake up with a purpose and motivation, something to strive for and live for. Look at it every chance you get during the day and just before going to bed at night. As you look at it, remember that you must become what you think about, and since you're thinking about your goal, you realize that soon it will be yours. In fact, it's yours really the moment you write it down and begin to think about it. Look at the abundance all around you as you go about your daily business. You have as much right to this abundance as any other living creature. It's yours for the asking. Now we come to the difficult part. Difficult because it means the formation of what is probably a brand new habit. And you know habits are not easily formed. Once formed, however, it will follow you for the rest of your life. Stop thinking about what scares you. Whenever a bad or scary thought pops up, replace it with a picture in your mind of your good and important goal. Sometimes you might feel like quitting, but it's easier to think bad thoughts than good ones. That's why only a few people succeed. Start putting yourself in that successful group. Control your mind for the next 30 days. Let it focus only on what you allow. In these 30 days, do more than you need to. Besides staying happy and positive, give more of yourself than ever. Remember, what you get back in life is connected to what you give. The moment you pick a goal to work towards, you're already a successful person. You're in the small group of people who know where they're headed. Just five out of every hundred. Don't stress too much about how you'll reach your goal. Leave that to a higher power. Your job is just to know where you're going. 
the answers will come on their own. Remember these words from the Sermon on the Mount and keep them in mind throughout your 30-day test. Ask, and you'll get. Seek, and you'll find. Knock, and doors will open. Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, doors will open. It's as amazing and as simple as that. In our seemingly complicated world, it's hard for adults to grasp that all they need is a purpose and faith. For the next 30 days, give it your best shot. If you're a salesperson, approach it with a new level of dedication. Not in a frantic way, but with calm and cheerful confidence that well-spent time will bring you the abundance and rewards you deserve. If you're a homemaker, focus on giving without expecting anything in return for these 30 days, and you'll be surprised at the positive changes in your life. No matter your job, do it with a fresh approach for 30 days. If you've kept your goal in front of you each day, you'll be amazed at the new life you discover. Dorothea Branda, a remarkable editor and writer, found this for herself and shares it in her excellent book, Wake Up and Live. Her whole philosophy boils down to these words, act as though it were impossible to fail. She took her own test with sincerity and faith and her life transformed into one of overwhelming success. Now take your test for a full 30 days. Only start when you've decided to stick with it. Being persistent shows faith. Persistence is just another word for faith. Without faith, you wouldn't persist. If you stumble in the first 30 days, meaning you're suddenly overwhelmed by negative thoughts, start over from that point and go for another 30 days. Gradually, this new habit will form until you become part of that wonderful minority for whom virtually nothing is impossible. Don't overlook the car, it's crucial. As you begin this new way of living, write your goal on one side of the card and on the other side. Note the words from the Sermon on the Mount. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. In your free time during this test, read uplifting books like the Bible, Dorothea Branda's Wake Up and Live, The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and other instructive and inspiring books. Nothing remarkable was achieved without inspiration. Ensure that during these crucial first 30 days, your inspiration remains high. Most importantly, don't worry. Worry breeds fear, and fear is paralyzing. The only thing that can cause worry during your test is trying to handle everything alone. Understand that all you need to do is hold your goal in focus. Everything else will fall into place. Also, stay calm and cheerful. Don't let minor annoyances derail you. Now, because taking this test is challenging, some may ask, why bother? Well, consider the alternative. Nobody wants to be a failure. No one truly desires mediocrity. No one wants a life filled with constant worry, fear, and frustration. So remember that you will reap what you sow. If you sow negative thoughts, your life will be filled with negativity. If you sow positive thoughts, your life will be cheerful, successful, and positive. Over time, you might start forgetting the advice from this recording. Play it frequently. Remind yourself of the steps needed to establish this new habit. Gather your entire family and listen to these messages regularly. Many will express a desire to make money without understanding the law. The reality is, only those working in the mint actually make money, the rest of us have to earn it. This misunderstanding leads those searching for something for nothing or a free ride to struggle in life. Earning money comes from providing people with needed and useful services or products. We exchange what we offer for other people's money. The law states that our financial return is directly related to our service. Success doesn't come from making money. Making money is a result of success, and success is directly linked to our service. Many people have this law reversed. They think you're successful if you earn a lot of money, but the truth is you can only earn money after you've achieved success. It's like the story of the man who sat in front of the stove and said to it, give me heat, and then I'll add the wood. How many men and women do you know or do you suppose there are today who take the same attitude toward life? There are millions. We've got to put the fuel in before. We can expect heat. Likewise, we've got to be of service first before we can expect money. Don't fixate on the money. Focus on being of service. Build, work, dream, create. 
By doing this, you'll discover there's no limit to the prosperity and abundance that will come your way. Prosperity is based on the law of mutual exchange. Anyone contributing to prosperity must prosper in return. The return may not always come directly from those you serve, but it must come from somewhere, as that is the law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. As you navigate your 30-day test, remember that your success will always be gauged by the quality and quantity of service you provide, with money serving as a yardstick for measuring that service. No one can become rich without enriching others. This law has no exceptions. You can drive down any street in America and estimate the service provided by the people living there from your car. Have you ever considered this yardstick before? It's interesting. Some, like ministers, priests, and other devoted individuals, measure their returns in the spiritual realm. But again, their returns are equal to their service. Once this law is fully grasped, any thoughtful person can predict their own fortune. If they want more, they must be of more service to those from whom they receive their return. If they want less, they only need to reduce their service. This is the price you must pay for what you desire. If you believe you can enrich yourself by deceiving others, you'll only end up deceiving yourself. It may take time, but as surely as you breathe, you'll get back what you put out. Never make the mistake of thinking you can avoid this. It's impossible. Prisons and the act streets where the lonely walk are filled with people who tried to make new laws just for themselves. We may evade the laws of man, but there are greater laws that cannot be broken. A prominent medical doctor recently outlined six steps to help you achieve success. 1. Set a definite goal. 2. Stop belittling yourself. 3. Shift your focus from reasons why you can't succeed to reasons why you can. 4. Reflect on your attitudes from childhood to discover when you first thought you couldn't be successful. 5. Change your self-image by describing the person you want to become. 6. Act like the successful person you've decided to be. The doctor who shared these insights is a well-known West Coast psychiatrist, Dr. David Harold Fink. Follow the advice given by experts throughout history. Pay the price by evolving into the person you aspire to be. It's much less challenging than living without success. Take the 30-day test, then repeat it and repeat it again. Each time it will become more ingrained in you until you'll wonder how you could have lived differently. Embrace this new way and the floodgates of abundance will open, showering you with more riches than you may have. Imagine, including money, but more importantly, peace. You'll belong to that wonderful minority, leading calm, cheerful, and successful lives. Start today. You have nothing to lose, but a life to win. Thanks for joining the circle in making 30 day challenge. Remember, your thoughts shape your destiny. Be brave, save 10% and take action. It's a simple formula. If you're ready for change, subscribe to the circle for more. See you in the next challenge.